where we try doing a run with uh, the boots and stuff. See how all that stuff goes. Maybe. We'll see. Down to 30 enemies. Shouldn't be too bad. Alright. Easy peasy. I believe this gives one empty heart. Right? Yeah. One empty red heart container. Shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be too bad. But we are paralyzing with, uh, with the thunder. Okay. <clears throat> Got 10 points, so let's upgrade this. Damage and duration. I'm going to reroll. Yo, 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 everybody, what's going on? It's Lotus here, back with another Nordic Ashes run. Hopefully, y'all are doing A-OK. -okay. If y'all do end up enjoying this video, any way point, um, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Without further ado, let's jump right on into this. In the last episode, we got a bunch of upgrades, so make sure you guys go check that out and unlock a bunch of stuff in the first episode. So, uh, let's see. We could try... Huh. So, what is this one of six, I wonder? Could try the Stormbringer or the Iron Hammer. We could also try Ira. Okay, shooting daggers, poison bomb. Staff build. I heard Helga is super hard to play. Well, depending on what, uh, what one you're going. Then we haven't unlocked any of these. To earn my trust, you'll have to buy at least 25 of my items. Okay. Get two complete green hearts in a run. Enemy shadows, 100,000. All right. Nail time in hard mode or higher with one full ice heart. Interesting. Find a lost grave in time. Wave three on hard mode or higher. All right. I think I'm going to try running um, Axeldor again, but uh, with Stormringer this time. Since we haven't ran these two, we'll try this out. Um, oh, conquer any realm seven times the Axel door to unlock this skin. Cool. Exchange three golden Noki badges to unlock the skin. Conquer one of three realms with Axel door in normal mode or higher to unlock this skin. Okay, cool. Cool. Um, oh, there's a mastery tree per person? Okay. True Viking Soul. What is this one? Plus one red hearts. At the end of the dash, an explosion will be created below you that inflicts damage. Ooh. Ooh. Let's try this one. Okay. Cool. Well, let's jump right on into this. Midgard. Explore every realm to unlock new content. Collect seeds. Face hordes of enemies that complete all faces. Well, we've already beat him on Midgard, so let's try Elfheim. Conquer this realm in expert mode. Okay. Yeah, let's try. Let's try Elfheim and see how this goes. We should have a bunch of new stuff. Oh, normal, hard. So you know what? Let's actually go back to Midgard and let's try a hard run on him. For those survivors with burning hearts, because this is the you get one here, two here, which is three. Four, five, six. And um, okay. Conquer Midgard in hard mode. Okay. So en enemies are stronger, larger hordes with elites, bosses inflict more damage and get on get on berserker mode. Okay, but you get plus sixty percent seedling. So let's let's try this. Let's see how this goes. Some relics have manual aim. Enable this option by holding the left button of your mouse or by moving the right stick when using a controller. Okay. Ooh, okay. Interesting. I don't know if I like this, to be honest with you. Um, alright, we're doing axes, so let's see. Damage and cooldown? Yeah, I'll take that. Area and duration? Sure. Not bad. I definitely wouldn't mind uh, more attack speed, that's for sure. Ooh, the XP boost that we got is huge. Like, we're getting a lot of XP. Um, Alright, let's see. Damage and duration. I think I'm going to re-roll this one. 
I think I want projectiles. Hey, well, what do you know? Projectiles and damage, okay. Cooldown, yep, and duration. Damage and duration, okay. Cool. Ooh, boss already? Okay. Not bad, not bad. We got lots of obelisks and all sorts of stuff on our uh, map here. What do we got? Kill 100 enemies? Okay. Um, I think I want to go with... Let's get cooldown. Let's get... Um, sure. I'm going to make our way down here to the ultimate, maybe. Um, I mean, we are rocking this. We could try rocking uh, Thunder Armor as well. Maybe we'll do a run. <clears throat> like, we're doing this run with the uh, the axe right now. Maybe we try and do a run with um, the Thunderbringer. Or we try doing a run with uh, the boots and stuff. See how all that stuff goes. Maybe. We'll see. Down to 30 enemies. Shouldn't be too bad. Alright. Easy peasy. I believe this gives one empty heart. Right? Yeah. One empty red heart container. Shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be too bad. But we are paralyzing with, uh, with the thunder. Okay. <clears throat> Got 10 points, so let's upgrade this. Damage and duration. I'm going to reroll that. I don't think I want duration anymore. Cooldown and projectiles I'll totally take. Um, I'll reroll this. Damage and area. Okay, I'll take that. Ooh, and I'll definitely take that. And that's good, too. Um, let's go attack speed. Okay. Should be good now. <clears throat> should be good now. We should have four axes coming out, which should be pretty crazy. I definitely want uh, more attack speed, I think. More attack speed and more damage. Okay. Let's grab that. Let's way up here. Adds one full heart container, sure. More hearts, why not? I'll take all the hearts that we can get, man. Okay. Let's make our way up to one of the other, uh, one of the other uh, obelisks or monoliths. Okay. Throw this down over here. Do that, grab all the seeds, make our way back up through here. Okay. Not bad. What do we got here? Three points for magic rune that spins around you and throws lightning bolts at nearby enemies. Sure. Could two or more electric weapons on the same run. Alright, cool. Um, oh, I definitely want to make our way down to that, uh, that Ascension Crystal. Okay. Grab all this. Definitely should probably start picking up some XP so we can start leveling some stuff up as well. Ascension Crystal should be right here. Cool, 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 cool. So we got that. Definitely taking a little bit of damage. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to try and get some uh, some XP going. Or some healing. Uh, let's see. Oh, break 100 wooden crates. Sweet, we got an achievement for that. Okay. Looks like we got a level going. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, there's a, the mine down here. We got seven going. Okay. A little bit of health. I don't know if the red one is like a kill thing or what it is, but we'll see here in a second. Oh, this is a... Okay, this is like a buff. Okay, looks like it gave us 50% attack damage buff. Okay, cool. We are taking a lot of damage, so I definitely want to try and make my way... Oh, what is this? Staff that throws fireballs that deal damage and can burn the enemies. Okay. Okay, that's pretty cool. We definitely need some healing, though. 
swing my way over toward... I'm gonna be careful, because we are still taking a good chunk of damage, but I definitely want to make my way over toward uh, this guy. Oh, the buff is only if it's like a time period. Okay, yeah, because we, we already ran out. So we have seven points. Let's see, what do we need? Let's get this. Damage and projectiles. Sure. Ooh, cooldown and projectiles could be huge. But I think I want... Cooldown and damage. We might not get it, though. Uh, lightning each second that deal. Okay. Axis cast three lightning each. Okay. Let's do that. We're going like a, like a full on lightning build. Should be pretty interesting. We got lots of, uh, lots of gold around. Just trying to clear the screen to try and get XP. It's the big thing right now. Oh, the, the also a uh, thing is which we won't be able to see until we get like another ascension crystal. I believe we unlocked a, a second um, kind of weapon for um, for uh, what you call it. Second weapon for the sword. Okay. We're not doing too bad of a damage. Also not super great, because we are getting low on health. I really don't want to die. Defeat a boss in hard mode or higher. Okay, cool. We didn't get a chest or anything for it, which is a bit of a bummer, but that's okay. Got a ton of XP. Holy smokes. Looks like you auto-collect XP after you kill the boss. So, let's see. Um, I still want to reroll this. Damage in area, damage in projectiles. I want damage and cooldown. We got damage and projectiles. Screw it, let's take that. Um, let's do cooldown, cooldown, cooldown. Um, I'll throw a point into this as well. Cool. Okay. Not bad. Let's see, what do we got here? So, what I was referring to was this. Okay, we don't have it. One, so we can't really test it, so that's okay. Restores all red hearts. Yes. Um, adds one full red heart container. Yes. Damage plus one attack speed plus 10%. Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, cool. Sweet. All right, well, I guess we'll get the show on the road and see what we got going on here. Okay. Ooh, I do... Okay. I was hoping the axes would be up almost like, uh... We probably definitely should have got more cooldown. Because I would have loved to have the axes up, like, all the time. That would have been huge. I do like the burn damage, though. Okay. What do we got here? <clears throat> 35 seconds. Increase fire damage and cause random enemies to burst into flames and burn. Okay. Not bad. Should be able to do that, no problem. We almost got like a kind of like an AFK kind of build going on with the uh, with the uh, lightning, like the lightning build going. That'd be pretty cool. I don't even know if an AFK build is is possible, but it'd be pretty sweet to get something like that going. I mean, I don't know if if this is the game that you'd really want to do that in, but it'd be pretty cool. We got our way down here. Ooh, the damage destroys the crates pretty quick, too. Um, looks like we got boots here. I don't know what they are. They grant an additional dash. Okay, so we got these in the last episode. The burn one and the, uh, the dash. I could definitely use a, an extra dash. That'd be super nice. Okay, we got a chest. What do we got going on here? Plus three damage. Ooh, another projectile. Ooh. I think I'm gonna go Stormbringer. Since that's like our main uh, our main weapon. Probably should go Stormbringer. Huh? Okay, let's see. Three points for that. So this has What is this? Enemies paralyzed by this relic will explode in three more beams when dying. Okay. 
does this create a new electric rune that orbits in the opposite direction okay when the fire touches an enemy it has a 50 percent chance of creating an explosion that deals five to nine damage all right i think i might try and go this one but i'm gonna upgrade that five points okay we can't really do it yeah, I might go this one since this is an actual skill that we can unlock uh, the second one if we, but we have to use this one first, so we'll do that. Basically, to unlock the second uh, weapon or the second um, ascension, you need to um, you need to use you need, you need to basically unlock the first one first by ascending. So shouldn't be too hard. So we'll, we'll have both of them unlocked for the next. Uh, next episode unless we try uh, out one of the other characters we'll see though okay lots of xp so we should get a good good level off of all this okay not bad not bad not bad so we got the boots so now we got the second dash now is huge there's also the mine and it looks like we got the buff uh monolith up here i wouldn't mind movement speed movement speed would be huge to get yeah we'll, we'll grab this okay we are starting to get swarmed a little bit cool down we could go i think i'm gonna go this one again Cause this is increased damage when you flicked. Yeah. Well, from the time you receive damage from any source. Each time you receive damage. Okay, so this like stacks. So maybe we'll go this. We'll try this out. So it, look, like, it looks like it stacks, so like even after we take damage and we heal, it looks like it'll still go up. So we'll have to try that. We'll have to take damage and then heal, and then see if uh, see if like the damage like stacks up or something. Because that'd be pretty cool if it does. Okay. The swarm though is definitely um, putting me on my on the edge. I don't know if I feel too good about that, but we'll see. I do like the, like the burn damage. I really like that. Activate the damage obelisk three times. Okay, cool. So it looks like you can activate it more than once per run. Oh, maybe that's because we got the bosses. Looks like this is filled. Let's grab the 10 gold here. Oh, we're killing the shadow guys now. Okay. Doing a lot of damage here, which I don't really like. Okay. Could go attack speed. You know, attack speed, I don't think really matters for this. Definitely want more damage, though. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? <clears throat> Effect. Area. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go effect. Yeah. Okay. That doesn't seem too bad. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what we got going on here. We just need to survive. I definitely need to get movement speed. That's that's a huge one. Actually, you know what? Let's grab this. Use that, and then we'll pick this back up. This should regenerate us back up to a hundred percent health. I thought. I guess not. Okay, we'll push everybody back. Got the two bosses or the two like little elites going on here. We're up to 42 seeds, which isn't too bad. I would definitely like to try and get a little more. Okay. Just clear a path through here. Okay. 
I mean, we still have... Well, this is wave three. We might have one more run after this. I don't know, though. I wouldn't mind getting more damage. Or... Like, more damage, and then, of course, the movement speed. Which... Our damage should go up a good bit now. It's already up to 10, and there's no cap, it looks like. Um, definitely want movement speed. I wouldn't mind getting the alt as well. We'll see. Okay. Boss isn't taking a lot of damage, because <clears throat> we're not really hitting them. We'll see here. Okay. Is he immune to burns? Is that what I'm seeing? We have taken a lot of damage, which is not ideal. if I really like the X's aren't too bad but the DPS wise I don't think I'm a huge fan of it to be honest with you I don't think I'm a huge fan of the DPS wise like it just seems it just seems low even though we got it maxed out and um maxed out and leveled up or ascended it just seems weak Like, we're not dishing out that much damage. Okay. I'm trying to make my way kind of toward the, uh... Oh, the potion's gonna be... Oh, crap. We took a lot of damage there. Okay. We'll definitely take that. Okay, that gave me a blue heart. Okay, this is the berserk mode that they're... Referencing? Okay. Oh, we're taking a lot of damage. We got one hit. Yeah, and we're dead. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this axe. I mean, we got the two ascensions, which is cool. Use the storm rare axe mode ascension. Cool. Man, that was a bummer. I mean, we unlocked a lot of cool... Like, not a lot. We unlocked four new passives, but we unlocked uh, the uh, electric prism... The stick, twin blades, vigorous tonic, extra beams, and then shooting axes, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of of the of the spinning axes. So we'll get a couple of leaves here. Let's see. I definitely want more XP, I think. Or starting with more points could be huge too. Um actually, you know what? Let's go combat. Let's go combat. So crit damage, cooldown. So I want damage and let's go crit. Yeah, let's go crit. Cool. So we'll do that. Um, not a lot, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I know we didn't do a whole lot, but if so, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. I'd greatly appreciate it. And the next one, we'll try uh, we'll try the hammer and see how that goes. Um, and then maybe we'll do like uh, the electric uh, run at some point, even though we don't start with it. And then maybe also the boots as well. Actually, we might do the boots in the next episode as well. But hopefully you all enjoyed. If so, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.